What if autism isn't one single condition, but four completely different biological subtypes? Researchers at Princeton just made one of the biggest discoveries in autism science in decades. Using massive brain datasets and AI-driven genetic analysis, they found that what we call autism actually breaks down into distinct neural and genetic profiles. Each with its own brain wiring, cognitive traits, and biological roots. This discovery could completely rewrite how we diagnose and treat autism. I am Tomasz, and this is Clinical Breakdown. Here why this matters. For decades, scientists have known that autism is incredibly diverse. Some people are nonverbal and need lifelong support. Others are highly verbal, analytical and independent. Yet both fall under the same diagnosis. That's like calling all infections a fever, instead of naming it, naming it what actually caused it. Until now, we simply didn't have the biological tools to tell those subtypes apart. But Princeton scientists just combined genomics, brain imaging and AI to uncover something game-changing. The team analyzed over 2,000 brain scans and gene expression datasets from autistic and neurotypical individuals. Instead of forcing the data to fit to one model, they let the AI cluster biological patterns naturally. What emerged were four distinct subtypes, each with unique brain activity, behavior and genetic expressions. Subtype 1 – strong cognitive strengths but atypical sensory and motor network wiring linked to genes for synaptic plasticity. Subtype 2 – Emotional regulation and communicational disruption, tied to immune and glial gene signatures, suggesting neuroinflammation may play a key role. Subtype 3 – Global brain underconnectivity with developmental delay features, associated with genes that control early brain growth, and subtype number four, nearly typical cognition, but with distinct changes in visual and attention networks, involving dopamine signaling genes. And those weren't one of finding, findings. The patterns held across independent datasets, even when tested on entirely new groups. The AI could classify people into those four groups purely based on brain and gene data, not on behavior. So, what does this actually mean? First, autism may not be a single disorder, but family of related biological conditions. Second, diagnosis could eventually move beyond behavioral observation to brain-based precision diagnostics. And third, treatment could become personalized. A subtype showing immune dysregulation might respond to anti-inflammatory therapies. Another subtype with dopamine disruption might benefit from targeted neuromodulation and one with sensory motor differences might see better results from specific cognitive or physical training. This is the rise of precision psychiatry, the same revolution that reshaped cancer treatment. Now coming to neurodevelopment mental science. But, and this is critical, we need to talk about limitations. First, those results come from group-level data. They reveal broad biological patterns, but they don't yet predict individual outcomes. You can't walk into a clinic today and get a subtype test for autism. Second, while the AI's classifications were consistent, the underlying data were drawn from existing public databases, which often lack diversity. We don't yet know how those subtypes hold up across ethnicities, ages and varying symptoms profiles. Third, the genetics and brain scans show correlation, not causation. We can see patterns, but we don't yet know why those biological clusters lead to different behaviors or whether they change over time. And finally, translating this into the clinical use will take years of replications, validation and ethical oversight. Autism 
isn't a disease to fix, it's neurotype to understand. Still, this discovery marks a shift. For families and individuals, it brings a hope, a move away from one-size-fits-all labels towards understanding your unique neurotype. For clinicians and researchers, it signals a future where autism care will be biological, data-driven, and deeply personalized. Autism isn't a single story, it's a spectrum written in four biological languages. I'm Tomasz, and this is Clinical Breakdown, where we decode the future of mental health and the neuroscience. Subscribe for more episodes and tell me, should autism diagnosis be based on biology or behavior? Because the answers may already be written in our brains.